Hey guys, my name is Sydney and welcome to my channel. And today um, I'm going to be filming my July favorites. And um, I have makeup, skincare, and just one random favorite. So let's just get right into it. Um, I'm going to start off with the makeup favorites. So the first favorite is actually a combination of two things. It's these two mascaras. And uh, it's the L'Oreal Voluminous Original in Carbon Black and the Essence Lash Mania Reloaded False Lash Mascara, and I think this is just in black. So, for the L'Oreal Voluminous um, Original, I've heard a lot of things about this on YouTube and how it just makes your lashes so voluminous and so thick, and it does just that. Um, I really enjoy it. The bristles are just, um, just, a, just a bristle, basic bristle brush, but I think the way that they're placed, they get really into your lashes. And I really enjoy that. I don't like putting this on my bottom lashes only because they get really flaky for some reason. So I only put on my top lashes. And then um, on top of the L'Oreal Voluminous, I use the um, Essence Mascara. This is amazing. It gives me so much length. It's not clumpy. It just gives you that um, false lash effect, like it says on the packaging. And um, it also gives incredible volume, but I feel like it gives more length. So just the combination of these two, it's just like on point. And I just love like lum voluminous long lashes, like that's my thing and I'll pile on all sorts of mascara just to get that effect. Both of these individually are awesome. Like they're great. But together it's just like, yes please. And I also put this on my bottom lashes and it just makes my bottom lashes super long. So um, I really enjoy these. I got this one from like TJ Maxx or Marshalls for like four or five bucks. I think it was just four. I got this one from Ulta for about three dollars. So uh, they're not expensive at all and they work so well. And I don't think either of these are waterproof, but I don't really like waterproof mascara. So these are just perfect for me. Um, a next um, makeup combination are actually these two lip products. So this is the NYX Matte Lipstick in Mason. And this is just a brown lipstick. Uh, I really, really love this. The formulation is really nice. It doesn't dry out your lips or anything. Um, this is about 5 or $6 at Ulta, and they also sell NYX now, at least in my neighborhood, they sell NYX at CVS. Um, so I really enjoy this, but I don't like the fact that it's super matte. I, th I just think it looks really weird on me, so I top it off with the Black Radiance Perfect Tone Lip Gloss. There's no name on this, but 5110 is what it says at the bottom. Uh, Black Radiance is really cheap. I think you can get this at CVS, I think, and Walgreens and Rite. I think you can get this pretty much any drugstore. Super cheap. I think this is like two dollars, like one ninety nine or two ninety nine. Less, definitely less than five dollars. It's not that um, expensive. It has the um, little squeezy applicator, and it's not sticky. Um, it's not gross. It's just a really nice sheer wash of color to go over um, the Mason lipstick. So, perfect combination right here. Next uh, makeup item is this Cardazzle palette and Kim's Cardazzle. Um, I found this at Ulta. It was originally 13 bucks, but I got it for like 8 because I had a coupon or something. I really like this because it's super travel friendly. They have awesome neutral colors and I'm like big on neutrals. Um, so it looks like this at the top. So the top row is all matte, bottom row is all shimmer. Shimmer isn't too intense, but I'm sure if you put, um, if you mix it with some sort of like setting spray, it will give you a really intense um, color. But I just really like these, they're really pigmented. Um, I can swatch a couple. You know, they're pretty pigmented for what they are. They're not the most, I don't know if you can see that, but they're not the most pigmented, but I mean, they work for what they are, and I just really enjoy this palette. Um, and then at the bottom part, just broke off, but at the bottom part, it has like a little slidey part um, that kind of goes underneath, but it, I kind of pull it out too much. But at the bottom part, it has like these highlights and um, two blushes and a highlight. 
I feel like the blushes are just a little bit too light for my skin tone, so I don't have a tendency to wear them that much. But the highlight's really nice, just for the top of the cheekbones as well as um, for the inner corner. So, yeah. And just look how compact it is. It's just really just small and cute and great for travel. Every time I travel, I bring this with me because it's just so easy. So the next, um, that's all for makeup. Next I'll grab some skincare stuff. So this is the L'Oreal Paris Sublime Sun Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50 Liquid Silk Lotion for Face. Super long name, but it's an awesome product. Um, it's super watery, but it's really lightweight, really sheer. It says skin beautifying skin care, sun care with antioxidants, and it's water resistant for 80 minutes. I use this um, over my regular moisturizer, and my regular moisturizer ha has SPS 15 anyway, but I like putting this on top because the next product I'm going to talk about has, um, you need to use sunscreen with it, so I like to use like a higher spectrum. Uh, this is SPS 50, but there is 100 and 30. There's also 30, and I also think there is a 15 as well. Uh, I got this from TJ Maxx for like five bucks or so. There's also a skin, like a body sunscreen and all the different X SPF 2. I actually have the body one in SPF 50. This has just been working out really great for me for the summer and I love it and um, yeah, it's great. And um, like I said, it's super watery. It has this little applicator on the top and you don't really need that much. A little goes a long way for this. The next product is the Ole Henriksen Enlighten Me Skin Tone Corrector brightening serum with THC and mulberry extract. Uh, this whole summer my skin has been going crazy. I've been having, this is the worst acne I've ever had in my whole entire life and ha like the right side of my face is all just acne scars which is so annoying. So I found this at uh, Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something. It was Marshalls for 20 bucks. I know Ole Henriksen's pretty expensive so I'm sure this is around, I think I checked, this is around like 40 something? Regardless, I'd still spend $40 on it, but this is just an awesome product. You put it on at night after you cleanse and tone your face and right before you put your moisturizer on, and it just really seeps into your skin super quickly. A little goes a long way. You don't need that much. I've had this for about three and a half to a month, three and a half weeks to a month, and I've only used like this much product. It's um, really good. It's, there's no offensive smell to it, so I know some people are kind of weird about smells, and on their, especially on their face, so this doesn't really have an offensive smell to it, and it's just a really nice product. I mean, it doesn't work overnight, but I could definitely tell that my hyperpigmentation has lightened a little bit, so um, I can only imagine what my skin will look like after I use this whole bottle, which I don't even know when I'm going to be done with this because I use it once a day at night and I use like the tiniest bit of it so yeah this is a really good product definitely check it out if you have hyperpigmentation it works wonders and then the next um, and the last facial or last skincare product is this acne cream I got from the Dollar Tree for a dollar this is I I don't even know where to begin with this this is so good I was at the Dollar Tree because I was picking something up and this is when my skin was like at its worst. It's just, I every time I woke up in the morning and I looked at my face, I was just like, no, like why is this happening to me? I can't. So I saw this, I was desperate, it was only a dollar, whatever. This is awesome. It's literally just called acne cream. Like there is no brand name, but this is the Dollar Tree brand product. So you can only get it at Dollar Tree. And this is um, the salicylic ac acid acne medication, fights acne causing bacteria while gentle on skin. And it's vanishing cream formula in 1.5 ounces and it has 0.5% salicylic acid. This is just great. I put it on after I tone. I do it morning and night after I tone and before I put on my moisturizer. Literally the next day I wake up and 70% of my acne has diminished. Like I'm not even exaggerating. The first time I used this and I woke up the next day, I was blown away. And I've been using this for about a month and a half and it's it has done so many good things for my acne. Like my acne is pretty much gone. I do have a couple spots here and there, but it's not as bad as it was like I want to say two and a half months ago. This product is so on point. If you have a Dollar Tree around you and you have really bad acne, I definitely suggest trying this. 
I mean, what may work for me might not work for you and vice versa, but it's only a dollar, so I definitely suggest trying it, and a little goes a long way. Um, I've probably used like this much. And um, definitely put on a moisturizer after, after this because once you put it on, it absorbs really quickly and then your skin feels like there's literally no moisture on it. But once you put um, your regular moisturizer on top of it, it just, it's fine. So I put this all over my face. Like, no part of my face is not covered with this. So I put this all over my face and I work it in and it just disappears really quickly. I j yep, yep, this is, yep, it's so awesome, it's so good. And uh, the net last product is, is just a random favorite, it is, is this DW Home Lavender Chamomile Candle. I got this from TJ Maxx, I also sell them at Marshalls, I got this for 8 bucks. This candle, like it says, is richly scented. My room is just covered in this candle scent, like it's just amazing. They have a three wick candle as well, but I feel like that would be too intense for my room. Two wicks, perfectly fine. Uh, this is just, yeah, it's just a great candle. Uh, I don't feel like it really smells like, I feel like if you think about lavender, lavender and chamomile, it's um, a little bit more like a, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's a little bit more of like a softer scent. This is like, this is richly scented, but you don't feel like you're gonna like puke everywhere or get a headache when you have it, when you light this. And when I blow it out, like even the next day, like the scent still lingers, and I just love this. And as you know, TJ Maxx and Marshalls have a really high turnover rate in terms of their product, so I got this in January. Not this candle, but I got one, the lavender, lavender chamomile candle, why can't I say that, in January. And then I couldn't find it for months, and I just found this a week and a half ago, and it's already almost halfway done, because that's how much I love this thing. I need to go back and get another one before they're all gone. Um, so they do have other scents. They have, like, a vanilla bean one. They have, like, a tobacco one, which I don't really like either of those. This is my favorite one, and on top of that, it's purple, and the candle itself is purple, and purple is my favorite color, so it was meant to be great candle so I definitely suggest you you smell this it's it's amazing so that's all I have for my favorites um, hope it was short sweet right to the point uh, thanks so much for watching I do have social media links I have a Twitter I have an Instagram and I also have a blog which I haven't updated any of those for a cool two months two and a half months like I'm not even joking but I'm gonna start getting back into those and starting to post and starting to tweet and starting to Instagram so Definitely follow me on those and also subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.